Starfrost, enabling the destruction of any of your cards. Do you really think Cosmos would be left out entirely from the loop? Well, here is a brand new powerful FTK into Cosmos with the aid of Jesus Starfrost. So, how do we start off? I'm going to start off like this. Most Cosmo combos would, and that is just getting a Dark Destroyer triggered. So you get banished, and you get straw man. If you don't know what these cards do, I guess I'll uh, give you the gist. Dark Destroyer says when it's destroyed with battle card effect, you can banish it to someone level 7 or lower Cosmo from the deck. That's not once per turn. Uh, when it's summoned, it can pop a card, pop a monster, so it can destroy itself in this case. It summons Strawman, which lets you pay 500 life points to target a banished Cosmo and summon it. Effects are negated, though. When it's destroyed during the end phase. However, that once per turn effect is per copy. So if we keep summoning new ones, we can keep doing this. Back our Dark Destroyer. And now we can Star Frost and pop it, and the Destroyer will trigger again because no one's returned. And it's Sword Trooper. So, little Stormtrooper here. You can pay 1,000 light points to target a Psychic Cosmo in your grave and bring it back. This one does not get the, negate the effects. And again, it is not a hard once per turn. So, if we can summon a new copy, we can do it again. Now, uh, it is important to know that the ships are the ones that float and they are machines and the pilots are psychics. So you can summon straw man, summon sword trooper, tin can, even though these are a, uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be droids, RGD2 and C3PO, they're psychic. So from here we can climb into our scare claw plays a bit. And this should be pretty standard at this point. We just got some bodies in the field. I'm going to link to here, and it's pretty much anything. This proxy dragon serves zero purpose besides a link climb. From there, we bring back the fire heart or the light heart, just three cards. Now, we can make Baron. Cool. We pay 1,000 with the sword trooper now to bring back the straw man. And again, because it's a new copy, we can use the effect. We can bring back card score. We're losing our light points here, but we'll be okay. Now the Baron can pop now. Oh, wait, never mind. It's another play first. Oh, yeah, just make space. So summon Zalantis. Um, you can make a Link 4 first and then throw it away, but yeah, this is fine. Uh, we're not going to use the effect yet. First, we're going to Baron, pop our Destroyer, triggering it again, and summoning Sword Trooper. Now the Baron is once per turn, so we can use it again if you bring it back off Zalantis. Summon another Sword Trooper now. We can bring back Strawman and bring back the Destroyer. Now, remember, if any of these guys come back, their effects are reset. So, Zalantis will reset all five of these once return effects. Or all four, I guess. Not the Dark Shroar. But the Dark Shroar will be able to use its effect because it will no longer be negated. So, we do that, and we are going to lose our Zalantis, but we don't care. Now, I'm, I used the Baron here to pop the Dark Shroar, but it can just destroy itself. Um, it doesn't matter for the sake of the combo, but you could theoretically get one extra trigger in, which isn't entirely meaningless it could be used if you want to expand upon this combo because it's not perfect yet and we can summon landwalker so its effect is irrelevant we just need a level six the next step here is to make puzzle mino 
So if you don't know what this card does, <laughs> you've probably not watched any FTK videos because this card comes up a lot. Two monsters with different levels, which we satisfied there. And if a monster is special summoned face up to the zone, this card points to, uh, you can declare level from 1 to 8 and it becomes that level. Next effect is not relevant. So if you can kind of see where we're going here, we have an easy Beatrice setup. We can bring back the Sword Trooper and make it level 6. Now we have a Beatrice line, uh, and I just want to reset this Sword Trooper here, so I'm going to link it away. Make Sprint, and I'm putting Apple Dragon in the grave. So Apple Dragon, when it's in the grave, says it can banish it, special summon a 100 Apple Token, which if I use as Sink Material, can treat it as, as a tuner. So, better than the Plague Spider, because I don't have to put a card back. And from this point, now the Sword Trooper can be used to bring back the other Sword Trooper, and I don't feel bad about throwing it away into an XE monster now, so I can keep the loop going. My points are running low, so I can't do it infinitely yet. But we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. So now we can make that Beatrice here uh, and do whatever we want. And what I want to do is send good all and a soldier. Uh, yeah, your time is running. Next, we can pay 1,000, bring back a, another sword trooper here. Oh, never mind. We're bringing back uh, the straw man. I have to remember this combo a bit. It is a bit of a long one. All right, we don't have space for the other sword trooper. We don't have light points for it. But yes, we are going to link and clear up our field a bit because we need some space. Now, this means we are getting rid of the Baron, but that's fine. We don't need it. Now we can bring back the Stark Destroyer one more time, leaving us with just a thousand light points, and we are now no longer able to use sword troopers. That's why we need another one. Sorry. Uh, but that doesn't matter because from here we can use our Apple Dragon and get that token. We made the space for it, and we can synchro for seven. Ah, thousand more light points of Ancient Fairy Dragon. There. But even more than that, we can trade out this Brain Evil Planet or Brain Research Lab. So it gives you an extra normal summon to Psychic, but what we really care about here is uh, if you were to pay life points for a Psychic Monster's effect, you can put a counter on it instead. So, yeah. Now Sword Trooper is free, meaning it is infinite. I'm sure you can see where this is going. Now, how do I get the Candle Soldier and the Sword Trooper field? Once I get to that, I am good to go. It's game. Easy. First, we need to clear up our EMZ. So go to the sprint, it's gigantic. It's a waste of bodies, but that doesn't matter. We don't need more. And now we throw A's into Quashi. How do we summon a fusion now? Because Quashi will get back the cannon soldier. And easy answer. Vicious Astroud, another new card from Sayak. Banishing the uh, Visa Star Frost and the Heart Monster in the Grave, and then on Summon it can pop a card, so we can pop our own Dark Destroyer. So now that gets the Sword Trooper, and the Cross Ship gets his Cannon Soldier. And, I'm sure you guys can tell, this is the game. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, I love Star Wars, it's probably my favorite IP outside of Yu Gi Oh! So, I think I will make a habit out of doing something fun and quirky uh, and Yu Gi Oh! related. And Star Wars related on Star Wars Day from uh, any time I do content creation. If you thought this was a cool combo, I did, I did um, then please share your support in the comments. If there's any optimizations, because I definitely could have done a little more if I used the resources maybe a little better. Also, let me know, because you can probably leave up the Baron somewhere. Just clearing up the face, uh, clearing up the space may require a little bit more of a precision, which really didn't want to spend the time because. If this is a gimmick combo and I already had it. Um, yeah, also go check out tsx1.com and use the code potato10 for 10% off on all your sleeves. And uh, this is it for now. May the force be with you.